now we are performing uh, functional MRI for the left hand patient has tumor in right parietal lobe so for that we have to do functional MRI we already conducted MRI for uh, brain contrast before taking functional MRI you have to take T1 3D and load it on review After dynamic 10, you have to do, you have to make the patient movement, the dark sequence, you can see from 10 to 20, the patient has to move their uh, upper limb, like for we are taking for the left elbow, the patient has to be moved during the scan and after 20, the patient has to rest. Like this, you have to do rest, movement, rest, movement. Now the patient in rest condition. Now when it reaches the dynamic 30, patient again has to move his left elbow. You can see the activation near the tumor. While the dynamic is going on for the moment, you can see the activation. And now patient will be in rest condition again after dynamic 40. Now the patient in rest condition. Okay, now we are taking for the right elbow. You can see the planning here on 3D Sag, coronal as well as on axial. This is for the right elbow now. We have completed the left elbow. According to the radiologist, we have to do, we have to do the scan. Uh, planning is completed. Now we will start the scan for the rest and moment. Now we are taking for the right elbow. In many patients, uh, we take for the alphabets, colors, and sensations, sensations for also. For this particular patient, we have taken uh, for sensation as well as for the wrist movement uh, and the elbow movements. You can see now patient in rest condition after the dynamic 10 the patient will move the right elbow make sure the patient is moving by their self otherwise the person who is helping it will affect or it will show the changes Now the patient will be in rest condition, no movements. You can see there is activation on the left side because we are performing from the right elbow and you will see the movement. Uh, you will see the activations in the light, uh, left parietal lobe.
For this particular patient, we have taken brain plane pre contrast T1FS and while giving contrast, we have taken perfusion dynamic. Then, after that, we have taken DTI diffusion tensor imaging. Then, we have performed spectro also and we are doing. Uh, functional MRI for the upper limb. Thank you.